Hey guys, welcome back to Trekyards. He's Commander Cocking. He's Commander Foley. And uh, you know, I'm 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 older than Commander Cocking, so I might belong in a museum. I don't know. I don't think I'm that old yet. But but in my in my storage unit, I was known as a dresser. There's uniforms for every era. You could call it a museum of uniforms. It's true. That's true. Like seriously, I've got. Is, 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 I did it in time order as well. So I got Rathacon earlier, TOS before. <laughs> it's very organized. <laughs> And we both have a museum of weapons. I mean, I got a TLS yep. uh, phaser rifle, and uh, but yeah. you know, what else has a museum? Maybe now. This is fairness. Is the question mark? But it's a cool. It's a cool title. The one shot from Picard season three trailer. It's cool because Earth Space Dock, but it's not Earth Space Dock because Earth Space Dock's a new design from another trailer. So what's happening in the shop, Stuart? Because this made us both. Hmm. It does look like it could be some kind of. As we were talking about earlier, a museum, because uh, there are like docking rings around, and it's an it's it'd be cool if they use the old space dock because it's like the, the whole actual, thing itself it means the original. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing itself would be a museum. Um, you can park ships inside, you can have them outside in these rings, and then you know, so speculation from us is that it is in fact Starfleet Museum, which would be amazing to see. Hope we get some nice flybys of some old ships, and if you zoom in, you can kind of make out some shapes here, and it looks like they're older ships. So, but I, I'm, I have no idea if it's Earth or not. It seems a bit too close, uh, like they travel in the scene to be Earth. But I guess if they start away from Earth, then Earth is a travel. But yeah, I, I just love the idea of containing the legacy. This is a gorgeous space dock model. It looks very nice. The scale feels about right to the original space dock, because if you recall in TNG, they used space dock footage and put the Enterprise D. And you can visibly see a refit and the door, and that's the right scaling. The D would not fit in that remotely. So it would imply it is the original space dock, and you sort of caveat most of the other shots of space dock as being another version or the Starbase 400 or whatever it was in TNG. Starbase so this... 74 or Starbase 72. Oh, something like that. yeah, exactly. So that already fits scale wise super well. And yeah, the station was built in Discovery. So it's a an old, old, old station. We say we say obviously museum because it's it's a weird framework rings around a ship. What could it be? Why could it be? What's the rationale here? Do you think? Because it looks like if you look at the right hand side, it literally is just very thin rings with almost like lollipops with a with a, with a line a gangway into the main hull. Well, my my guess would be it's like station keeping rings, but also probably a walkway from the starbase, and you can walk all the way around the ship. It's a long walk. Like, with, with glass on the uh, uh, interior of those rings, so you can like look at the ship from different angles. Probably be able to go aboard it, maybe beam aboard and get a tour of an old museum ship. That's kind of my thinking on that. Oh. If you're going to do a Starfleet or Starship Museum, that'd be a good way to do it. You could actually literally just walk around the ship and look oh. at it from any angle. My brain just clicked. That bottom one, close to the camera, that's totally defiant. That's totally a defiant shape. It is, yeah. Or but now, I, walkway is interesting because if this is the... I mean, the rings look about the same size. I don't see necessarily a huge disparity in vibe. There isn't a clearly a galaxy class, you know what I mean? So maybe... And obviously, older ships would be smaller. So if this is a legacy ships or legacy ship classes, then maybe they could be a standardized size that fit most ships. Our Defiant and Connie, whatever. Or they're smaller, or they're just two levels of rings. But... Yeah, because I'm wondering, because that's a huge... You know, imagine doing a ring around an Enterprise D or a Galaxy class. That's a huge... I mean, the, that'd be a, an hour walk, two-hour walk. So I'm wondering, maybe a turbo lift that goes to, like, a, like a theme park? Kind of a... kind of Because a, 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 that would be, you know, a five-minute roll would be, would be would be nice. But it's, but if, if it's a museum ships... Museum to specifically reference original ships, they could be the Enterprise E specifically in the dry dock, in, in this dock. But that'd be a hell of a fit... We haven't seen the bottom of it. Like there could be another station oh, nearby that is like newer ships. There's lots. Of, it could be like a complex of like a lot of museums are like the Smithsonian. It's a number of different buildings scattered over. Well, you'd think they would strip out all of the unnecessary stuff in the middle and and extend all of the space to everything, pretty much everything that you could do. So some bigger ships could fit in there. And if you're only going with top tier famous ships, then. I mean, you're not going to make many bigger ships than a, a Galaxy class. So an ambassador should fit in there. And maybe maybe you could beam the saucer. I mean, could you beam a ship with with, with a, a des dedicated space station transporter? Is that too sci-fi to beam the entire Sovereign 
or the galaxy and skip the door. I don't think that'd be a, beyond the realm of possibility. Now. Yeah. And I, I just I just came up with a great name for this. We're going to call it the Starfleet Smithsonian. So that's what it is from now on. There you go. Assuming assuming it is a, a, a museum ship. Or I a mean, museum. T- t- seeing a clear refit, and there's other shapes, we'll talk about in a second, shapes that, to me, instantly project something... There's a, there's a nice legacy here of things. Um, Smith, oh, I like that Starfleet Smithsonian. Wouldn't it be great if there's like a NASA shuttle as well? Yeah. Like, yeah. here's the Enterprise. Here's another Enterprise. Here's another Enterprise. Here's a space shuttle. That'd be so cute. Yeah, anything's possible at that point. So, yes, by all means, include stuff like that. So Because, it, like I said, the further back you go, the smaller the ships are. So to have all of NASA's tech from our Smithsonian would fit into two rooms you know, so that would be fine to include inside the middle bit um, but I'm just wondering because it, it, if this is a museum either the, I would think they'd all be internal because you'd pick the best ones and you'd do an internal space or there would be even more external ships there's plenty here but are you saying there's only let's 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 really sum up to 20 20 museum ships of the legacy of Starfleet and the Federation like that seems that like survived an, yes maybe well, that's the qualifier. Are they only the original ships? Is that they have to be the the originals to be in here, or are they mock-ups? Did they or, like? Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Personally, I would love just a an episode that's just going to Starfleet Museum and just doing like looking at stuff. But well, well this is fan appreciation. The episode, but also functionally, if you need, because I'm assuming they need to go here to grab some tech. A replacement ship, replacement part, something specific. You know, the solution to a problem is a twenty-two seventy-six computer processor. Where would you find one of those? The museum. Like, there's an easy logical leap here, and then once you're there, you can throw everything in, at the wall and, and have it stick. Especially if they're still on a Titan, so they're only using standing sets and just stay on the ship. So there's no new budget there. You can do the exteriors. Um, but maybe given how well, maybe they will steal one of the Starfleet ships. We've talked about that before, yeah. Or all of them. Oh, can you imagine if the end of Fleet is all of the old ships? Wow. <laughs> That'd be awful if they got destroyed though. It, well, yeah. But if it's a galaxy yeah. ending threat, you know. Um Wow. That'd be a hell of a scene. Is the Enterprise another there's there's four Enterprises in the battle. Because we took out retirement. That's hilarious. Uh <laughs> you get some packlid in a cutscene. It's another Enterprise. And another one. And another oh, one. Rumdar. There's seven Enterprises here. Yes, there aren't Rumdar. Wait, there are. Good, Rumdar. You're right, this one time. So, yeah. Enterprise refit. Let's go to the next shot. Now, this is just for, I mean, for clarity. Yes, the blue goes really help. Because otherwise it could just be a conny shape. Clearly an Enterprise refit. Yeah, the thing is, though, the thing is, though, when you zoom in, I get very bad vibes that it looks almost Kelvin-esque. <laughs> <laughs> but it just it's out of focus it's blurry it, they won't do that i don't think only that would like be a... 60 pixels wide yeah now we'll stay zoomed in if you look left i see green in the next circle and i see maybe a wing i'm extrapolating slightly but that looks like a slight green tint yeah. looks like it yeah well it actually it does look like it might be a bird of prey or something with the wings up it almost looks i think that uh Oh, I see it being up. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm literally looking at a green blur, but but if I look away, it's like actually, I mean, I know the exact angle of the bird of prey, and it's like that's pretty. Oh, okay. I see why you say the wings be down. Yes, now I see it. Yeah. Okay. So you yep. see the. Yeah. And, and okay. If well. And if you're going by eras, then this could be the you know, the famous uh, bounty, the Kirk ship, and you know, and then the A because. That was re- you know, the bounty crashed, and we assume at least physically survived, if not like technically survived, like the computer core and stuff. And the A did survive, so those back to back would be a hell of a you know the, the Kirk wing. Well, yeah, I was just gonna, I was just gonna ask, you know, why would they have a thing on ship in a Starfleet museum? But yeah, it's literally saved Earth. Yeah. So it's an important ship, and it was left on Earth. It was in the bay, so yeah, ah, that makes up. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it's part of the Kirk legacy, and I mean, it's also just interesting. You know, walking on the Klingon ship is a, it's a unique thing to... Uh, everyone can experience the Klingon replicators, which they still haven't replaced 100 years later. <laughs> um, now, when you said that the Defiant 
looks like it was down oh, yes. there. Right above the Defiant looks like the Millennium Falcon. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> it, do, it does, though. For me, it's the Ebon Hawk more because of the squareness, but it really looks like the Falcon. Oh, and beside it, on the other side on the right, that looks like a Romulan bird of prey. TOS. Oh, I was going to say Warp Delta, but no, you're right. Flip it. Yeah, it is. Which also... Oh. Did it they could steal? be the Delta. It could be the Warp Delta. No, but now you've said that, I can I can see the curved front and the cross back. But did we steal a Bird of Prey at any point? I don't think we did. Because we stole a cloaking device. Oh, interesting. Although although then, I hope it's not the one from Picard. No offense. It will obviously be, but I hope it's a more classical version. Um, but I'm, I'm wondering what on earth is the ship next to the potential Bird of Prey? Because my brain, I'm obviously 100% wrong... It looks like the Omega Destroyer from Battlestar Gra- uh, from uh, Babylon Five, lengthways. It isn't obviously, but it's yellow. It's like a it's like a je- what ships are yellow, like a, like a creamy yellow. It's so so difficult looking at these. It's like we're spies looking at spy fo- photos from orbit, and this is like what is that? <laughs> but the thing is, ships have so specific profiles that you can pixel peep. Now, what if I said that was now it's. It's, it's off center, so it, it imagine it's right for some reason at the edge of the ring. It looks to me like Andrew Probert's uh, disease ship with the, the the curved thing with the ball in the middle. It has it has the outline of that. I would say. Why the hell would it be that? I don't know. But now on the other side, clearly an Akira, third third from the right, clearly an Akira. It looks like yeah, it like could be for sure. Oberth, below that. Um, possibly, possibly. It, yeah. It's close. Because it's got the creamier paint scheme. The one next to it is razor thin. Uh, I don't see any specific hallmarks. It looks like a, a Klingon knife, honestly, like a thin Klingon knife. You would think you would think that Voyager would be here somewhere too. Oh, for sure. Yeah, but I don't see a definitely don't see a silhouette of Voyager anywhere. Uh, if they do Voyager, will it be with the armor emitters? Will they leave on the future tech, or will they've taken it off? That's a good question. <laughs> now, I will say the only other one we see next to the Akira. That is absolutely a a, a, a a tube nacelle. I'm not saying it's TOS era, but that is absolutely a tube nacelle. Like the, that's what is vibing yeah. to me. It's not. It looks like there's looks like there's four nacelles. Like that's a possibility. There's maybe. one underneath, kind of maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's the it's TOS really stargazer. Maybe you know we know that they've canonized that as Bill's design. I mean, they're not overly difficult to build. Oh, the Radiant class, yeah. Ooh. Especially if Titan Legacy is being evolved. Uh, that would be nice to see. I've pre- fairly said about Bird of Prey, Defiant, I, Romulan ship I totally buy. There's so many legacy ship here, ships here that at the very least it feels like tours because there is not going to be this assortment of ships together. And also, why on earth would this refit have its warp grills on? Except for show. Yeah, they'd have them all powered up and looking nice for sure. Yeah, because this thing is not going to be in service in Picard. That's that's too far. I think that's like such an early design. But as a look, it's pretty. That vibe super well. Yeah, I'm just looking at that Romulan bird of prey. It definitely is. You can see the tail fin on it. Yeah, you can, you can. It's facing away from the camera. Yeah, damn. I am so excited if this is a museum, which it has to be. I mean, look at the ships we're looking at. So I mean, a museum or like a, a, a teaching academy, and they just happen to have like test bed ships. Because in fairness... If and actually that actually works quite well as well. It's a school, and so you learn on different eras of ships to, as a learning exercise. So rather than holodecking, they actually they actually have old hulls, and you go and learn on them. That's a cool academy. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, not yeah. confirmed, hundred percent. There is a museum in this show, but uh, how could we, Stuart? Until we you know see the show, but that's we pretty saw- good stuff. Yeah, we saw this and we had to like at least look at it and discuss and, and hope for things that could be. <laughs> so, um, guys, let us know your thoughts on what these ships are. I don't know if um, you can get any clearer images or whatever. I'm sure we will once the show is out and we will definitely pick this apart. If this is in an episode, we are going to take a look at everything that's there because um, this is what we do. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Please click that notification bell icon to all and comment down below what you thought about this idea or what you think should be in the museum. We want to hear your thoughts. Yeah, what is the Trek Legacy items? What is inside? Are they going to be more famous ships, etc., etc.? Let us know. And uh, are you proud of us for pixel peeping the hell out of this? 
because boy, in the, in the one we had for our breakdown live, they were blur. So thank goodness Star Trek conversion is a nicer version. Just gives a little bit of clarity. And thank goodness for Star Trek. Because, you know, Star Wars, Star Destroyers have quite a similar vibe. How do you know some of them apart? Star Trek, real, real specific. So yay for designers and celebrating them on their, you know, 50, 60 years of design. Because if this is, that's here, you know, you've got all different people represented. So yes, support us what we do on Trek Odds if you want to see more like this. We do the work so you don't have to. That's for darn sure. Uh, on our lives, join in and super chat. Your thoughts, comments, questions, and just pure support. Or super thanks on any video. Every time we see that, it makes us smile. It's a lovely bit of support. Or PayPal. Anything you want to give towards the show costs. I buy new equipment. That's always fun. Or trips. Don't forget about the trips. To America. We want to go. That is PayPal. Trek yards at hotmail.com. Or Patreon. No, nope, PayPal. No, nope, Patreon. The first one. Uh, monthly. Or join the channel monthly. Those are really helpful. I mean, they're all helpful ways of this trip. But um, monthly is great as well. So thanks in advance. If you can't do it, but if you can, thank you, as I said. And uh, watch Picard Season 3. Yep. So until next time, guys, he's Commander Crackings. He's got a fairly. Bye, everybody. Bye,